The ego is the number one thing that is stopping you from living your best, most amazing life. And the ego, of course, is what you call separation consciousness. The self, the true self, which is the soul consciousness, is what they call unity consciousness. Now, those of you on this channel, almost all of you assuredly, are here because you met your twin flame, your other self, right? Your twin flame is another incarnation of your soul. Everybody knows that the soul incarnates and deincarnates and reincarnates, etc. And this is your soul having another experience. When you meet your soul in the physical, it's very, very triggering to the separation consciousness of the ego. Well, what I'm going to be doing on this YouTube channel from here on out is I'm going to take you beyond your twin flame. And I'm, I'm always going to talk about it because I think it's very fascinating, twin flames. But your twin flame is just the first step in a bigger transformation, guys. And if you go beyond just the twin flame and embrace this on purpose, right? You're moving forward with this transformation intentionally each day, moving forward a step at a time on purpose, with purpose, and you're being conscious of what the ego is up to. Uh, you're going to feel better and better all the time. Your life improves all the time. And of course, you know, your twin flame, they stick around. They don't seem to leave you the hell alone, <laughs> actually. But this is really critical, guys. This is why you met your twin flame. I guess you could call this Twin Flames 2.0 that I'm going to be rolling out on this channel. Now, what's up with us versus them? Well, it's ego. It's separation consciousness. And in the Twin Flame community, we see that word all the time. People think that separation means that you're not doing what you're supposed to do with your twin flame, which is, again, ego. The ego has expectations. It says there needs to be an outcome. It says everything needs to be a certain way for it to be happy, and it's all dependent upon outside circumstances. So the ego, because it's duality, it's externalized. So it looks to this other person, and it says, this person is making me happy or is making me sad, right? It's that outside influence that's this person's fault that I feel good or bad. And that's what every human does. And we've all done that for our whole lives. And what your, your soul is trying to show you is how to go beyond that and how to be a master. And that's what you really are. That's your true essence. Okay, if you're on this channel, you're a master and you can do it. Trust me, okay? And it's not hard. Actually, it's not hard. What you're doing is hard. What you're doing is hard, okay? What I'm talking about is easy. Okay, and if you want your twin flame to come back, piece of cake, piece of cake. But that's where that word came from. And people in the, on the internet, you know, you see what I call the pop culture uh, spiritual message or the pop culture twin flame teaching, which is all ego. And I'm not saying that as an insult. I'm, I'm, that's really an objective statement because that's what it is. You look at it and it says, okay, here's all these stages I've got to get through to get my twin flame back. And this, this really is not a twin flame video, okay? What I'm trying to show you is what they teach you takes you beyond twin flames, okay? So anyway, so there's all these stages I got to get through to get my twin flame to come back. And I'm at the separation stage and I'm not supposed to be here because everybody knows the goal of meeting my twin flame is for me to be with them and to go on our mission and save the whole fucking world with our union energy, <laughs> Right? And as soon as I say that, you're, it just sounds ridiculous. Yeah, it's because it is ridiculous. It's ego, guys. The ego thinks everything revolves around it and that it is dependent on everything that's revolving around it or that everything should revolve around it. Let me put it that way. And that's not true. That's not true. You don't need this person to feel better. Although, once you start feeling better, they come back and you're, you're learning something that you can take as part of your life in general. That's what I'm saying, guys. That's why this is Twin Flame 2.0. It's us versus them. It's ego. Do you understand what I'm talking about? There's no other. There's no them. That's the ego. And it's even created all these fake pop culture teachings on the internet via the vehicle of both spiritualism and Twin Flames 
to make it look legit, like, oh, you're in the separation stage. Guys, that word, the, the Twin Flame community extracted that word separation from traditional Zen spiritualism teachings, right? Buddhism, the Tao, Jesus even, you know, and, and a lot of the deeper spiritual uh, meanings that Jesus was trying to tell people have been misaligned and misinterpreted by Western civilization, but it was the same thing. If, if you really understand what he was saying and you take a second reading of the Bible, you may actually understand what he meant when he said some of those things. But separation consciousness is living through the ego, the personality, and believing that you are separate from everybody. So for example, with your twin flame, you look at them and they appear to be another person, a separate person. That's what the mind says. And it can't understand anything else. And I, I tell you guys about this all the time on this channel. You gotta go beyond the ego. You gotta go in, in into the unity consciousness of the soul, which is your twin flame. You and your twin flame are the same soul. And there it is again. There's, there's the other word that the so-called twin flame community, the pop culture twin flame community, extracted from traditional Zen spiritualism. Union. Oh, we're in union. Why don't you just say you're boyfriend, girlfriend, or husband, wife now, or why don't you just say relationship? Why, who, who came up with the word union to mean for when you and your twin flame are together, right? Where did that come from? It came from that, guys. It came from that deeper Zen spiritualism meaning. It's called unity consciousness, union, unity consciousness, okay? So a lot of the teachings, even the older teachings about twin flames, have been twisted. That's another thing that's interesting about this. It's all rooted in spiritualism, traditional Zen spiritualism, not the flaky, pop culture-y, woo-woo spiritualism stuff. Not that stuff, okay? But the back to basics stuff, the Eckhart Tolle, the Michael Singers, the John Cabot zins right? Those kind of people, all right? Charlotte Jaco Beck, you know, another resource that I often quote on this channel is the Samadhi movie. Go watch that movie. It's on YouTube for free last time I checked. Unity consciousness is where you transcend the ego and there's no more us versus them. Ever. <laughs> Ever. You, you realize on a deeper level that you're not separate from your twin flame. And you take that ball and you run with it. That's what I'm telling you you need to do. You need to run with that thing, okay? And treat all people like they are not separate from you. And everything around you shifts. Even if that seems hard for you to do, you can push through the seductive and addictive patterns of the ego that tell you that you need to succumb to these old beliefs, this old conditioning that you're limited and that we're all separate and that it's us versus them and you're in competition with everybody out there and you're not. You're not in competition with anybody. That's ego. That's the separation consciousness that I was talking about. And I'm not saying that you have to be allied with every human you come across. You have to pick and choose. You have to be wise. You have to use your wisdom about who to associate yourself with because there's still dangerous people out there. But when you look at somebody like that, you just say, look, that's another part of me who forgot who they were, okay? So at the very deepest level, we are all connected. You and your twin flame are the same holographic soul essence, okay? It's, but the, the universe replicates, all right? And each soul has its own kind of DNA. But at the core of all those DNA strands is the same unity consciousness. So every time you go a layer deeper, a layer deeper, a layer deeper, you're getting closer and closer to the source where we are all one. And we know that that is true. Even quantum physics has proven that everything is connected, right? Quantum entanglement. They just proved a few years ago, quantum entanglement. And so that means everything is always connected all the time. So at the very, very deepest level, you're connected to everything and everybody. Whether your ego likes it or not, okay? That is the truth of you. And I would highly encourage you to go down that rabbit hole as deeply as possible and embrace that and do it on purpose. Like I said, 
at the beginning of this video, do it on purpose, do it deeply, okay? Stay on top of your game. When you see yourself falling into the separation patterns of the ego, pull yourself out of it. You know, get grounded, make yourself stay on that path. And you know, your twin flame, they're gonna be around, they're gonna be in the picture, but you're not really worried about that. It's because you're so focused on who you really are. You're the, you're the consciousness, you're the magnificent all. And you know that's what you are. You know, they, your twin flame, they just come along for the ride. They're just there by default, basically, when you're in this type of consciousness. So go beyond your twin flame, guys. Go beyond that. Look at the whole world around you. Look at how you feel in those deep moments of stillness. You feel that connectedness to all things. You know that it is true scientifically, conceptually. And now I'm asking you to know that it is true on a deeper intuitive level. And of course, you know, making your lifestyle choices to make it easier for you to energetically do that. I highly recommend, you know, I just posted a video last Thursday um, called How to Raise Your Vibration, where I talked about one of the ways or several of the ways that you can do that. So those are things you can do to start doing this on purpose, intentionally, every day and staying on top of the ego so that you on purpose make sure to not fall prey to those old patterns and things. And it just starts working for you. The mind can't understand why it works, <laughs> but it does because it's not a journey of the mind, okay? It's a journey of the soul, which is consciousness. And it's deeper than thought and it can't be understood, but you can feel it. It's a knowing and it's very, very deep. And it just is. So I hope that helps. Stay tuned for more amazing Twin Flame 2.0 videos, which are gonna take the form of spiritual general topics. Thank you for watching. I'll be back next week. See ya.